Hi Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dean, and I'm going to be doing your August 11th to the 17th, 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by more people. So thank you so very much for doing so. Now, if you're interested in a private reading, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. It's listed in the description box below, and I look forward to reading for you. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Angels. And spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. Oh, goodness. Okay. So that one goes there. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Okay, let me make sure everything is in frame. Perfect. Now let's see what spirit has to say before we dive into the tarot. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, put a butterfly in the comment box below. A person will be chosen at random and announced at random. So hit that bell notification. Also make sure you like, of course, comment and subscribe. That puts you into the running. And so good luck to everyone. So let's see here, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Here we have enhanced reversed. So this is indigo, okay, sacred indigo coming through. And so it can feel like things are a little bit dulled, Scorpio. They're a little bit intense, a little bit overwhelmed. And with sacred indigo coming forward, you know, there's, I know people who die with indigo and it is a very, again, sacred, powerful experience. And so here, taking in just even the color of indigo, being able to connect with that color in our mind's eye, being able to see it wash through our bodies and, and ground ourselves is going to be something that starts to open up doors for us. It's going to start to enhance our life, our passion, our soul, ourselves. But we have to just, just be, be sure to call in that enhancement because we can be overwhelmed and be like, you know what? No, I can't do this right now. So let's see what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Our chakra energy is life purpose reverse. I think that's very, very telling that it's blue, right? Indigo is, is blue and purple. So here with the throat chakra coming forward and our life purpose, our sacredness to be enhanced coming forward as well. And that blockage there, we are scared and we don't even know we're scared of speaking our purpose, of embracing the power of our voice. Now this can come through because we do have Mercury retrograde on the 4th on the 14th of August. So it can come through because of that. But there's a sense here of how do I speak my purpose without constantly doubting and fearing and, you know, overthinking myself. So being aware of this energy is going to be a very powerful thing. Humming is fantastic for the throat chakra. Singing, a spirit is just saying laughing and that, yeah, that vibrational energy of, of laughing is going to be brilliant for you. So just being aware of that and it also activates the thyroid, which is very good for you as well. It moves us then 
to our energy to be mindful of angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly this is the nine of wands reversed and the nine of wands shows a powerful shift and a powerful change but also that we are so tired of everybody's opinion everybody's you know everybody's words everybody's ideas everybody's everything kind of coming at us coming at us coming at us so being aware of this during this time is going to be very important that the energy to be mindful of is not letting everybody else have like the final say in our existence and in our lives it's being able to stand in our power and see ourselves it's choosing our purpose ourselves over what what the world wants us to do or what we perceive the world as wanting us to do it's moving forward in love in kindness in respect in in faith of soul and self it moves us then to the six of, of swords crowning us we have the page of wands the two of swords the three of pentacles the nine of pentacles the Nine of Wands, very interesting. Nine of Wands, both reversed, coming forward. The Empress. The Knight of Swords. Justice, which is Libra energy. Time frame is September 23rd to October 22nd, right before us, Scorpio. Our time frame comes Libra time frame. So if we're born on the cusp with Libra, that comes through very powerfully here. The Three of Wands, reversed. The Ace of Wands, reversed. And the Sun card, reversed. The, King, the Knight of Swords is also reversed. Okay, give me a moment as I take this all in. What's very e interesting is that during this week, there's some sort of entity or some sort of thing that's going to come forward that's like, I want to be your hero, Scorpio. There is a need for us to kind of step back because there's somebody going to come forward and be like, oh, I got this for you. I can do this. I can do that. They're very bravado oriented. Be mindful of this because it's not going to bring the balance that you want but you're going to think it does we need to embrace our voice and it is going to be hard to follow our voice our path our desires over everybody else's it just seems right now during this week that we'll be very we want to keep the peace we'll be very you know inclined to to move with the sway of others and spirit is really saying move forward in your love in your kindness you know embracing your joy there's an energy coming forward the page of wands fire sign energy aries leo sagittarius if we're born on the cusp with sagittarius if we have fire sign energy in our chart that's going to come through as a teacher energy to us the page of wands it's like i'm going to be a student i'm going to learn but it's going to teach us through making us learn how to move forward in what we want there's also a fire sign energy in our life that is going to show us a different path that we thought no it can't be like that and this energy here whether we know they're a fire sign or they just have a lot of fire sign in their chart we might not be aware of it they are going to teach us to walk a different path to look at things a different way to embrace a fire a passion a tenacity that moves us forward that has us working with others in a way that we didn't think we could we're going to be very inclined during this time to be annoyed at our own humanity which sounds like a very silly thing to be, but it's a very human thing to be. I just want to be perfect. I just want to be able to get it all right. I just want to have the questions answered. And to be human is to have the great unknown unfold before us. So being kind to ourselves with that energy is going to be important. Also knowing that a lot of the bruises that we're feeling in the present, they're, they're hurts and pains that we bring forward from the past and fears from the future. So this is going to be a time to stand in your present, stand in yourself, and and stop second guessing yourself it's like i make good choices i'm moving forward in power i'm moving forward in tenacity and i'm going after what i want and even if you sit there and say oh well you know i messed up here i messed up there it's like yeah well everybody does that's how we learn so showing yourself kindness and respect when it comes to that is going to be very important as well there's something that we're creating there's something that we're bringing forward into the world but there's something that needs to be nurtured during this time that we're going to think oh i should already be there right it should already be done and spirits like no it shouldn't it's still being nurtured within you but we need to be able to start visualizing what we want to create and what we want to cultivate coming forward it's going to be very easy for us to kind of say oh well this person can do it this person is more clever they're they're more you know this they're more that than i am they're they're going to do this they got this but it's us who has to have this there it's us 
who has to really take the reins of what we want and be the hero of our story. We are going to want things to move forward very quickly during this week. It's it's the Leo energy, right, of the time frame. We want things to move forward quickly. We want the fire. We want the tenacity. But slowing it down is going to be very important for us as well. Being just and fair to ourselves, not sitting there and constantly worrying about, oh, is this just and fair to everybody else? How are they looking at this? How are they seeing me? What are they thinking about? You know, am I am I being fair to everyone? You're going to tick off somebody you are that's just like not everybody's going to be happy so being aware of this is going to be important during this time and standing in the balance of yourself what's really coming forward is number 11 here and the number 22 in the in the chakra energy so just knowing that those are both master numbers angel numbers coming forward is going to be very 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 important during this time spirit is highlighting them so I have to highlight them for you. We have the repeat of the number three, three times. This is, this is spirit saying, I'm with you. You know, this is your angel saying, I'm right here with you. Embrace your creativity. Embrace the God's head within you. We are forgetting to look within. And remember, that's where the God's head is hidden because they were like, oh, you'll never find it in there. Human beings will go everywhere else, look everywhere else, but you will never look for the God's head within you. And they're completely right. And so here, being able to see the balance and power of ourselves, that's going to be important. With the three of wands reverse, it's very interesting because there's going to be something that we think like, we're going to think that there's like this free trade of ideas, this free trade of information that's going to move us forward, that's going to get us to where we want to be, that's going to be like perfect. It's like, oh, this is perfect. And there's going to be something here that's a bit disappointing when it comes to it. Like somebody's going to drop the ball, something isn't going to go through. We're going to be, when that happens, we're like, throw the baby out with the bathwater. I'm done with this. This is ridiculous. We're going to have a very strong, very intense reaction to it. So being aware of that is going to be super important during this time because that can throw us completely off course if we step back and we say, you know what? Stuff happens. It's okay. I'm okay. That's going to be the way we need to handle it. So just being aware that there's going to be like a monkey wrench thrown in our existence, that we're going to have to embrace the calm and connectivity with ourselves. With the Ace of Wands, we are taking this gift from God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, and embracing our fire and embracing our passion. Our inner child is taking this. There's a part of us that's going to be moving forward and saying, but this is what I love. This is what I'm excited about. This is what I'm passionate about. This is where I want to be. And we're embracing that energy with tenacity and respect. So that's going to be important, but we're not going to see that we're taking it because there's a little bit of overseeing ourselves during this time, like looking past ourselves, looking at everybody else, everything else and being like, oh, well, they got this. They did this and not seeing ourselves. So being aware of this is going to be super, super important with the sun reverse. This is the happiest card in the whole entire deck. When it's reversed, we're not seeing the happiness. We, we are like overlooking. We are overlooking it and seeing frustrations and doubts and fears but seeing more of the past and the hurts that we have been through and because the hurts that we have been through and the traumas that we have lived through our body remembers like our body keeps score right and it's like well I, I know this and we don't know why we're reacting a certain way to certain situations but if we can start to see ourselves as astoundingly blessed as radiant with the power of of happiness and love and existence and connection that is going to be so important and that is going to be so beautiful for us and that's actually going to make this week just the most prosperous beautiful like i can do anything week but it can also go very easily to doubting ourselves doubting our voice you know getting too much in our own mind thinking we have to move way faster than we actually do feeling like i don't have time to make decisions to think things through it has to be quick 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 and spirits like no slow down and connect what's going to be very interesting is that we're going to be very rigid with certain things. It has to be just this way. It has to be just that way. Or be very inclined to, to, to gravitate towards people who have an absolute vision of things. What we're going to need to see during this time is that the path for us, especially Scorpio, is a one that most don't walk and a one that most don't understand because we are so closely linked to the spirit world and the veil of spirit. So being aware of that and owning that within us, Scorpio, is going to be very important. Our subconscious spirit message here is courage. We are much more courage, courageous, much more powerful than we give ourselves credit for. Our subconscious chakra message is family at our root chakra, embracing our family, embracing our family connection, embracing, you know, what we love, 
that is going to be really important as well. But also know that we're questioning it, right? It's reverse. So it can be hard to embrace things. It can, we can feel put out upon, you know, we can feel overwhelmed by, but saying what is sacred to me and how do I honor that sacredness is going to be a very important and very powerful tool for us. It moves us then to our energy to be mindful of, be mindful of taking on too much, trying to balance, trying to balance, trying to balance so much that we get overwhelmed by emotions, by people who are jealous, who, people who want to see us fail. They're going to point out, you know, negativities within us and they're going to make us feel like we just can't do it or they could do it better. All right. If you can do it better then do it, you know, what you're going to find out during this time is that the people who say I can do it better when they get to do what you're doing they're going to fail and burn. And then you're most likely going to have to come back and clean up their mess. So there's a reason why you're not just like, here, go ahead. But I mean, you, you can be during this time, you can say to them, here, go ahead. But just know that it, it might make more work. But it's also a lesson learned, right? <laughs> it moves us then to our subconscious tarot message, which is the Queen of Wands. We have that Ace of Wands coming through. Again, we're taking that gift. We're embracing our magic. Our inner child is coming forward really prominently during this time where it says connect with your passion, connect with your fire, because subconsciously we're, we are going to see that child's curiosity turn into adult accomplishment. And it's like, wow, I can't believe how I get to move forward for me. And I can't believe how prosperous and beautiful I am. There's a beauty to what we're doing during this time. And even if nobody else sees it, we see it. And that is astounding. All right. All right, Scorpio. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Scorpio. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.